for the first show of the day. Into the microphone, there you go. Can you hear me, Mom? It is my, uh, my privilege uh, to present the, uh, the first act of the day. A remarkable talent, an enormous talent, an extravagant talent. The gentleman's name is Kurt Alling. Uh, about eight months ago, I heard this song on the radio. I called the radio station. And I said, who is this person? And it was Kurt Elling. And uh, it is my thrilldom to present four-time Grammy nominee winner, a nominee, yeah, and, uh, and second consecutive downbeat poll winner for best male vocalist, the amazing and extraordinary Kurt Elling. <laughs> Thank you very much. You look beautiful. I can't believe it. We drove in here this morning and we said, nobody's going to show up. They're going to wait for Wayne. <laughs> we thank you for coming out this morning to swing with the jazz. We're going to play some, some of the right notes for you this morning, we hope. Here's a beautiful old standard. With the Lawrence Hobgood arrangement, here is Easy Living.
soccer. But living for you, it's easy living, it's easy to live when you're in love and I'm so in love, there's nothing in life. Those of you who are familiar with John Coltrane's great masterwork, A Love Supreme, here is our take on the second cut from that side. We'll invoke the sun a little bit with this and see what comes of it. Here is Resolution. Within you put it to the test, it will do the rest. I confess it'll be like climbing up on Everest. I can't express the view from there, but it's for you to follow through. La la, show the powers bright array. Bless the climb as it'll be up on the universe in dark display. And Jesus, remember every promise made. Present yourself in the middle of the prayer. Final thunderbolt of the judgment day. Hear me, near when I, when I ask for today, Father.
Father to Father to show for the world I'm in a house right on the edge of everything Where the time is tumbling in a vortex The nexus of timetable tides In the final lighthouse A shining ascending At the spinning of the finishing of sweeping ties Little 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 hop Sky breaks my lights like a sand beating Careening, watching, charging, advance Taking the sound of passing everything away into the secret of eternity, David Dance. Breaking down, crashing the rain, flashing through deep lanes, smash and that he fades. Everything goes to the open mouth of Kaliba. When the vault of heaven opens, for witness as lonely as forgotten tears. Keep the vigil watching all, even like go out. One witness, one time digging the sleeping wheel of me. Spitting out, taking up everything by the roots. Pulling out the lot of orders, passing through the past like a dream. She knows what is gone, gone over everyone that is done. And I've begun a starting from the super microcosmic nova go the way to super cute galactic sun. And she knows the beginning is coming in the sweep at the end of all. Even gods have passed over away. Then one day the shadow of a priest on the horizon appeared. He was taken up into the swirling. He walked with purpose all the while, digging his ears into the bed, like a bit. But as he came into view, the witness saw his eyes were crying. Tears the cloud fell to earth. As he brought heaven, is the fear in the void of the pain into the parable Lord. Realizing it all, everything, everywhere, into his eyes. Seeing the heel of an out of his heaven away. Hearing the sounds of a trench of a day, tearing all meaning away. And to the witnesses, his difference he had this to say. I know about birth, I know about death, and how that life goes out to me. The life departing, powerless, giving it up. But in the past, a difference I get meant to deeper meaning. I'm the one who will say, use the wheel every day. Or go, ah, trying, go to war against the infinite side of living. Use every power you're given to stand and act like a man. And pray every day to every God. Strike the bowl of heaven and the ringing will become a law. Yeah, bridge is where you need to go. Bring the fire of enlightenment here to life below. the things you need. Listen up to hear the whispering of the blood you bleed. Stay awake, no mistake. That's the dream awake. No break. up in the morning. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're going to play something from our forthcoming Blue Note release. It's a record that will be called Flirting with Twilight. should be available uh, around the 1st of September. It features arrangements for rhythm section, voice, and three horns. Luckily, <laughs> on the way into the gig, we found three horns. They were just hitchhiking just hoping to get some free passes, and so it all worked out just fine. So here is a beautiful Stephen Sondheim composition. This from, uh, well, you know, with any Sondheim uh, lyric, there's bound to be multiple layers of meanings. This would especially be so in the case of a beautiful, simple little diadem of a love song planted smack dab in the middle of a show that's basically about a demon barber who slits throats for a living. You might see where there could be a couple of things going, but uh, we, that's right, it's on its way. We took some of the sinister elements out so we could play something pretty for you this morning. Here is Not While I'm Around. Thank you. 
nothing's gonna harm you. Not while I'm around No one's gonna hurt you No sir Not while I'm Send them howling. I don't care. I've got wings. No one's gonna hurt you. Desert you not to worry, whistle, I'll be there. Demons will charm you with a smile for a while. Bob Shepard on soprano.
we're very pleased to uh, have just spent a week with one of the world's greatest composers, Wayne Shorter, who will be joining us later on this afternoon. You all are in for a magnificent, magnificent afternoon of music. Chuck Mangione is going to come up in a minute. And then Wayne Shorter and his tremendous band. This is our take on one of Wayne's signature tunes. This from our latest Blue Note release live in Chicago. Here is Night Dreamer. Despair. He knew all the dreams by heart, just like sailing in a boat of crystal silence, seeing visions of the world of life within a life. In a turning like a burning came a turning out of everything, stirring in what had begun before. But all wrapped up in one great godly becoming. Tumbling and bubbling and stumbling into bubbling and rumbling along. Whirling and swirling and twirling it and overturning it and burning it again. Ah, you shared a whirling dervish out on the side of a hill called Metaphore Vivace. Swinging en route to a nascent solar. With a scissored, wizard, blizzard, wizard, gizzard, and planets and sequence it then like an avatar. While, meanwhile. Turn styling and spinning over him. Spells be spanking kingdoms in the dark, calling me to yield. Knighting me in a field covered with armies and with princes. All were signing, cannons shining, pennants flying. And when he spoke to me, he sang, and his words really rang. This jump of the knowledge of the beauty of the night, he sang to me a master's passing on. A father after mother after father climbing up into the lotus throne upon a tortoise back. And I've got fathers who danced through their living a longer time ago. Show me a palace in time, in which all the daughters of the mothers of the swing upon a pen and a mess, and a sucker, and a dip, and a mess, 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 and Every sicky kitty whipper here was message given to every other top of learning notes about a few, or so it seems. When I asked of them, what shall I do to see the god? They only said, the golden rod, which grows inside of every twilight dream. You dream while waiting for the gods. It's a symbol from the man in the fire. It's telling you the thing you desire. It's a covers that covers the riddle of everything secretly wished for, and of the world of which you are an inheritor.
and Frank Parker on draw. Suddenly the chamber was flooded with light, hurling me skyward like a meteorite. When I fell to earth, I saw everything in a blur. I saw the day was accelerating in a curve, and the minutes in which I entered. Something like lava on acres of woodland Like a booming in Monte Volcano Making a rugged hell ago And destroying the planet at Fort Disney Bulldozing everything down To make room for what Was a visit in a labyrinth Not even as a man of holding magic With a tangle of confusion Where the walls made in a style of a baroque Like a joke Words were spoken to provoke me And to not be viewed and empty To the street Simply turn my back and walk out of the dreamscape into landscape like a banjo where I heard the lonely the roses of heaven dare sing as though somebody still may care. They live only for the dream of living to come out of where they will take you there. Thank the cats for being so swinging this morning. Here's an old favorite. We cooked this up just for, well, just for you, basically. Stop saying you're mine. Tell me ever and ever so sweet. Soft words of love, bear repeating. Just like an old Valentine When you say I love you The same old I love you They whisper in stories and plays You can change I love you Such a heavenly phrase So tell me Softly and gently And then Over and over again Never stop saying Thank you. 
Here is a uh, Horace Silver composition with a lyric by the greatest of lyricists, John Hendricks. A little hit written well before the words politically and correct were ever uttered in the same breath. Here is Home Cooking. and big fat juicy hams. Soul food, I'm talking about soul food. Collard greens, hot cornbread, and fat back swimming in beans. I just found a woman, she ain't nothing for looks. But out in the kitchen, mm, she tends to visit and cooks. I'm talking about soul food. Ah, plenty of good soul food. Kidney stew, hot pone cake, and that's home cooking for truth. Don't cook me up no fancy line. Cook me a dinner, cook me a dinner. And if everything is tasty, I believe in letting you know. A lot of ladies think a little romance, that it will be a with you can cook it, you need to take a chance. Don't me whiskey, gin, and wine. Cook me a dinner. Cook and serve me something tasty to chew. And maybe I'll realize that all I'm really longing for is you. My, what a delicious looking pudding. Let me have a little bite. My, everybody take care of business tonight. You really got the pots on this evening. What a meal, what a meal, what a meal, what a meal. Nowadays, this is an awful lot of women never learn the 
art how not to burn. Don't tell me where we're going to dine. Cook me a dinner. Them fancy restaurants, they really are cold. They really have no soul. They can't duplicate that cook at home, that home I cook at soul food. Some soulful food that'll get them every doggone time. Feeding a man can good sort of really be a high crime. Plenty of people living now appreciate the kind of foods their fathers ate way back in the olden days when food was really good. And all the girls were good at cooking, cooking the food and cooking it good. Remember when the Sunday dinner started getting set for cooking? It was mostly cooked on a Saturday night. Cooking now today is pretty packaged in a mostly scientific way. Please never send me to a restaurant. Ain't nothing in a restaurant for any man who's got himself a cookbook. Every time I try to eat in a restaurant, that cooking drives me away and sends me back home when cooking's got soul. You find yourself a woman. You like the way she look. She charming and she pretty, but she say it's lots of trouble to cook. Make her cook. Make her cook. You meet up with a Debbie. She's in the social book. She lovely and she love you, but she pay her servant double the cook. Make her cook. If a woman can cook, it don't matter much how she look. I just found a woman. She ain't nothing for looks. But out in the kitchen, she tends to be the same cooks. I'm talking about soul food. Plenty of good soulful food. Kidney stew, hot cornbread, and that's home cooking for true. Hot pound cake, and that's home cooking for true. Hot biscuits, and that's real downtown homegrown cooking for true. Down homegrown cooking for true. Rob Amster plays Contrabass. In the words of John Hendricks, I was only serious. <laughs> now, any second now, people are going to start getting calls on their cell phones from my wife. Saying, now, wait a minute. There's a little story that goes with this. This is another arrangement uh, by Lawrence Hobgood uh, from our new uh, record that will be out in a minute. Um, for those of you who also have houses in Florida or California, uh, you know that orange blossoms don't actually bloom or blossom in the summer. But uh, there was a little time in my life when uh, a friend of mine was uh, moving out of town and as a parting gift to me, gave me a beautiful uh, orange bonsai tree in full blossom right in the middle of summer, so fragrant, filled up my whole house. And now every time when I smell orange blossoms, I think of him and uh, it was just a really beautiful gift. Uh, you know, that's my little story. So I wrote a lyric about it. This is a Curtis Lundy composition. Uh, and it goes like this. Here is Orange Blossom. When winter is on again, fragrance ends and the withered leaves drift down from the dying trees as they find release but i'll remember it the sweet perfume of blossoms in summertime and when we are far apart and my heart feels a winter chill I've got to lay down and cry but I know by 
down from the dying trees as they find leaves but I remember it the sweet perfume of orange blossoms in sun
Mike Migliori on alto saxophone. Thank you very much. We've had such a splendid morning getting to play a couple of tunes for you. This is our first time at the Newport Festival and we're, we're really pleased to be here and we thank you for coming out first thing in the morning. We got one more for you here. It's a brand new arrangement of uh, something that you know well. Huh.
I'd like to indulge just for a moment and give you a little bit of introduction about these magnificent players on the stand with me. Sitting in with us today playing alto saxophone, gentleman who has played this festival before with Maynard Ferguson, also swung with Jerry Mulligan, Chico O'Farrell, and the Woody Herman Band. Please help me thank Mr. Mike Migliore.
singing with us today on tenor and soprano saxophones. A dear friend of ours, he actually is all over our new record. He swung with Freddie Hubbard, also with Chick Corea, and he met his newly engaged, betrothed, beautiful, excellent friend on the road with Steely Dan. He just wants everybody to get along. That's what he said to say. Please help me thank my dear friend, Mr. Bob Shepard. Bob Shepard. <laughs> Another good friend of ours sitting in on, on the trumpet today, swung with the Basie Band, also the Clayton Hamilton Orchestra. He has a brand new record of his own available on the Jazz Compass label. It's entitled Azure Eyes. Please help me thank my dear friend, Mr. Clay Jenkins. Playing drums magnificently for us this morning. A dear friend of ours from Chicago, a regular in the band for only about seven months. He swung with Jerry, the Iceman Butler, on regular occasions, and also with the Chicago Jazz Ensemble. Please help me thank young Frank Parker on drums. Frank Parker. Playing contrabass for us this morning, another dear friend from Chicago. He joins us having been on the road with the Maynard Ferguson Band. Before that time, he swung with Dizzy Gillespie, and he has the singular honor of being the only bass player to have worked with Buddy Rich and to not have been fired. Please help me thank my dear friend, Mr. Rob Amster. Rob Amster. Playing piano for us this morning. My collaborator, he and I wrote all of the arrangements today, but Lawrence did all the heavy lifting. He is a three-time fellow to the Aspen Music Festival. He's worked alongside such magnificent jazz greats as Larry Coriel, Bob Mincer, Clark Terry, Lee Konitz. He has a record of his own available on the Name Audiophile label. It's entitled State of the Union. It features Brian Torf and Pat Metheny drummer Paul Wurtico. Please help me thank my dear friend and collaborator, Mr. Lawrence Hobgood. We thank you all for joining us this morning, this excellent JVC Jazz Festival at Newport, our friend John Phillips for having us on, and to you all for coming out so early on this beautiful morning to come and swing. My name is Kurt Elling. I hope we get to play for you sometime again very soon. Thank you so much.